I'm comparing this to the Sony M3s, I don't know if they're worth buying. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Vaughn, and today we're gonna react to the new AirPods Max by Apple. I got a fetish for cheese. I tell you better believe who really ahead of the G. Apple has a way of making us feel as though we have to get the new thing, the new iPhone, the new AirPods, whatever it is that they release. They have a way of making us feel as though we have to get it. So let's see. Let's see what it, you know. Let's see what's the hype about this new AirPod Max. Let's get into the video. All right, what's up? MKBHD here. MK. So we got a little surprise, a little quiet, but not so quiet addition to Apple's holiday season stuff. A little one more thing on top of. They're the always product. adding something. So always added adding something new. And there's a new pair of over-ear wireless noise canceling apple headphones i wonder if they're going to be they're better than these AirPods these are Max, these are um and they call these are the 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 sony m what is it wh m3s so see if they're i wonder if they're going to be better than these i don't i i personally don't think they are cost 550 dollars. <sighs> my gosh and i got them right here they're always so pricey now, I didn't really know what to make of the name right off the bat. I don't think I would have named them AirPods personally. Yeah. Okay, if you look at the because you would think product, like I guess all their audio in -ear. products have pod in them. There's earpods, AirPods, HomePods. So fine. Either way, this is the box, and it's a pretty big box for a pair of headphones. But you can see we have this minty green color here today to get into. I want you to pop that top. It looks so clean. Top like, the box. First that's the thing about well, well, Apple. Like, they inside. always... Already everything looks clean. Everything looks clean. the smart case because they don't fold. They don't pack down at all. This is how you travel with them. This is how they that's ship. different. In this case, with the bands... It looks like a bra, though. I'm not even going to lie. It looks like a bra. I'm just going to take them out of the case for the first time. And the metal of the headphones is actually legit cold to the touch. Wow. Which is pretty sweet, not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, I, can get I don't know if I like that color, though. Smart case, so we can admire that, too, in all of its... Is that, is that magnetic? Glory. Anyway, not much else in the box. You get a little bit of paperwork, no Apple stickers, and there is one cable. But not the typical cable that comes with headphones. No. This is a USB type C okay. to lightning cable. There is no brick, and this is purely for charging, and there's no Look audio that. cable included. That'll be another 35 bucks. Look at that. That looks good though. Yeah, that looks good. I personally think that looks pretty good. Pretty unique. Uh, they look like those huge planar magnetic headphones from back in the day, yeah. but like a modernized version of that design. And what's that little classic, like classic indent this green here on the top? Isn't the what best is that for? Color, if I'm being real, but that's it. We can get it back into the smart case, slap that magnet shut, and we're off to the races. Mm. So it turns out there is a lot of really interesting stuff with this particular pair of headphones. Mm. I mean, you guys have seen headphones before, I've reviewed them, but- It just looks so there's different. A lot that's different. It looks clean though, like, I'm not gonna lie, clean. like, it looks clean. It, I personally, these, what I have right here, like I said before, is it's uh, the W, the Sony WH-M3s. I know the M3, the M4s are the latest ones, but I, I, already, I, I already had these, so there was no point in really getting the new ones because they didn't really change too much. The design was fairly the same. Um, but these look really nice, but the, the price point is just too much. Uh, it's it's just way too much, I, I personally think. But, I mean, fashion, I guess. I guess, you know, if you if you want to flex and everything, then get it. Why not? <laughs> these that you don't really see very often. And so, while this isn't my review, uh, that'll be coming up soon. And definitely make sure you subscribe to be among the first to see that if you haven't already. Ooh, uh, this is just going to be 10 mil. One day. Just one day. One day. Top five things you should know about these new AirPods. So number one, the materials. Okay. Like I said, when I took it out the box, the metal was cold to the touch. So these have a stainless steel flexible frame, and then the ear cups I was touching are aluminum. There's these shiny telescoping arms and ball head joints on the ear cups that let them move around a little over 90 degrees. Overall, there is no doubt these are built very well. There's no creaks, no gaps okay. anywhere. I mean, even the little- I don't have any creaks with, the with these though is really satisfying because that looks a lot nice that looks really nice i think nice. actually like this more than the typical wait that looks like the airpod uh, not the airpod really the, the apple watch as important as little notch thing overall comfort and these are going to sit on top of the head pretty nice that mesh band at the top okay. is basically designed to distribute the weight 
as oh, easily as possible okay, across okay. your head and be kind of breathable. That's and innovative. It's really soft, which is awesome. But we'll see about durability. What is though? I wonder what material that is. I think it's probably worth it though, because with all this metal, they are heavy headphones. They come in at a hefty three hundred. Yes, yeah, because of all that metal on, on the, to the much lighter. The see, that's the my, that's my baby. That's yeah, my baby, but I have it in black though. That's my baby. Though. I literally be, like if you're a coder, or you're like a software engineer. These headphones are it. You just I just throw these on and like I'm just you know put on some like calming music, something that can like allow me to focus and I'm just I just lose myself and I'm just you know focus on whatever because it, it cancels noises uh, and everything and um, it's just amazing. It's like it's just amazing. Um, this one's particular lack of sweat or water resistance. Uh, it just doesn't get much better built than this. That's just facts. By the way, the color options, same as the iPad Air. So black, silver, light blue. I feel like the blue would look And this sort of minty gray. Better. All right, number two, the ear cups. I have the blue iPhone, the iPhone Magnetic. Pro, the iPhone 12 Pro, and so it looks amazing. Easily. They do stay on really well in their sort of groove. It pops when out. Them, obviously, most of the time, they don't just That's nice. Off. You can replace but it and things like that. I wonder how much off. the price would be they come off. for you to That's replace. actually really smart because... Most people should replace the ear cups on their headphones every once in a while. The metal part, the outside, that's designed to last a long time. But the inside, especially with softer materials and leathers, yeah. you see that a lot. People sort of outgrow the, the ear pad and then just buy new headphones. Yeah. So this is a good idea. Now, Apple is very happy to sell you some new ear pads <laughs> for $69. Oh, my a set. gosh. But uh, I guess a nice bonus. Why so much? You can actually mix and match colors if you want to. What oh, you nice. see that? I didn't even notice that. You see that? How they have like the L, the L imprinted there. Well, that's that's nice. I like that. I like that. Just it's like very subtle. Like I like that. Customize your cushion. But sixty nine dollars is page, and too much. Even put together a little visual aid so you can see okay. what the different colors. That's pretty nice. You can make like. your own headphone. You can make it unique to yourself. You've ever heard? Is I like that. Buying five hundred fifty dollar headphones and having to spend an is extra it needed? seventy dollars mm. to change part of the color. But number three is the controls. So there are no touch controls anywhere on the sides of either of the ear cups, as there are with a lot of other wireless headphones. Okay. Instead, they borrow the digital crown from the Apple Watch, plus there's an extra noise cancellation button just to go on or off with transparency or noise cancellation. I might have preferred to see these buttons at the bottom of the ear cups. Yeah, for reachability, I think so but too. Overall, Especially with, the, with, the, with the, the M3s that I have right here, like everything is right. It has, it has a, like a, a touch sensor that's right here where you can like, you know, put the volume up or down. You can, you know, you have the buttons that are below here. It's, it's, it's just re more reachable to compare to this. I mean, but you only have, this looks very like clean though. You only have one button. I guess that button does everything that you would need. Probably honestly better than a lot of the finicky touch controls. I like when there's a physical control, like on Microsoft's headphones, having that big dial spinning, that was sweet too. So here on the Apple headphones, you can spin that digital crown for volume. Okay. You can tap it in to answer calls or double tap to go forward, triple tap to what go is back, that? What is that et cetera. Other button? And also this... in iOS 14.3, when you update, there's uh, controls nice. and support but built I mean... in that let you reverse the scrolling. Direction. That's the thing about Apple. Like, once you have one Apple product and you get another one, that whole ecosystem just, you know, you want to, everything just works so well together. So it's, this is, if you, if you're, you know, if you have, if you have, you have multiple Apple devices that you know about this and you're not, you know, not, it's not really surprising that like everything would just, everything just seamless. In case you end up getting it backwards. Then number four, the case. So, uh, Let's just get the jokes out of the it way. It looks like a bra, shall we? It looks like a purse. Yeah. That oh yeah. Really hold much. <laughs> yeah, that's and true. It looks like a bra. Yeah, it looks like. I didn't even get the no purse one, but the bra one. But for was... real, this is a super strange case to me. Yeah. So they call it the smart case. It comes with the headphones, mm -hmm. and the headphones literally just slot in here and close with a magnet. And my very first impression is, there is no redeeming quality yeah about like this case i don't get all. it the headphones don't actually fold like down. imagine like i mean i guess you put your headphones in there and like walking around holding it from the, the you know the headband and it look like it looks like you're holding a purse like it just mm, i don't know if i like that design apple i don't know get more compact to travel with the most durable part of the headphone is covered and the softest, least durable part is your carrying strap. It's the most exposed part. 
Yeah. And then it isn't even fully Closing. protected. Closing. Exactly. Like slots in here. I understand you can charge here if you want to plug them in via lightning, but what is all this? Nice. What? This this case is weird. Yeah. And also something to note, there is no on-off button with these headphones. Oh, what? So instead, you put them in this case, and when the magnet shuts, it detects that they're in the case, and they go, okay, we don't need to be on anymore. It goes into this ultra low power state to save battery. And that's cool. That's really smart. And that means you don't have to remember to turn them off every time. And as soon as you take them out the case, they wake up, and it's like you never turn them off. Easy. Okay. But now, but I feel like you have to use this. Case. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I feel like you're going to have to, like, you can't just have the headphone. Because, for example, I have my case for the, M the M3s right here. And but I don't use it all the time. I only use it if you know if I'm you know traveling or going somewhere, um, and I want to keep them protected. But on my day to day, with everyone being you know quarantined right now, being everyone being inside, you know I just have them on my on a stand that I have that just holds my headphones. So with this, you know, I, but with this I could turn it off. So with these new AirPod Max, you wouldn't be able to do that, which is. Mm, I don't know. That's 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 a loss of a point for me. That's definitely a loss of a point for me. To turn the headphones off, and if you don't use this case, they will just sit around. Yeah, and, draining and then the battery life will just be hours horrible. Before they go into because auto low power mode. A lot of times I just put my sure thing on, put my headphones on a desk or something. That also use magnets to trigger this low power mode. That remains to be seen. But then yeah. number five, last but not least, is the smart features. So this is the part that's going to require the most additional testing for me because basically, as aside from sound quality, which first impression is very good, and noise cancellation is right about on par with AirPods Pro. Basically, they're incredibly good with white noise. But there's a lot more testing for this sort of thing okay. for the full review. Okay. And uh, there's a lot of smart features too. There's the dual H1 chips doing a lot of computing as you listen to music, one in each ear. There's nine microphones this time for noise cancellation and transparency mode. Cool. And there are of course Apple headphones made to be used with iPhones and yeah, Apple products. So when you use it with an iPhone, you get features like audio sharing, uh, Siri, you're reading your text messages, and the instant pairing and all that fun stuff. Okay. But like I said, I'm gonna get super into this and the audio quality and in-depth thoughts on all of this stuff in the full review. This is just the impression, and there's a lot of testing to be done. Okay. But at the end of the day, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the video here because you know he's just going over it. But personally, you know, if I'm comparing it, comparing those headphones just from the first, you know, just first look at it, if I'm comparing this to the Sony M3s, I don't know if they're worth buying because for one, the price point. <laughs> I mean, five hundred and fifty dollars is just is way too much that you don't have to spend for the M3. I mean, with the M3s, you can get them, and I'm sure the prices have dropped now um, because the M4s are out. But you can get get it for below three hundred dollars <laughs> from Amazon. So I personally think if you're going to be, you know, if you if you if you have the money to spend, why not, you know. Why not get the AirPod Max? I mean, it's really people. Are, the people that are gonna get this is just really they want to just you know, you know, sh you know, just say hey, you know, I have the new the l new latest Apple product. But for real, you know, productivity and 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 just listen, you know, just listen to music. I think the M3s, the M4s, personally, the M3s do a, a phenomenal job, and I use them for you know every day, word coding things like that. So personally. If I'm comparing these two, you know, I haven't, I, I don't have it in hand, but if I, if, you know, if I, if I had it just from looking at what everyone is, from what he's saying, I personally don't think it's worth it, in my opinion. Um, I think that, you know, the M3s do a phenomenal job. That's going to be it for the video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Vaughn and I'm out. I know we gon' make it, I only need me a chance She gon' say she love me, I know she only a fan Tell me what you really want and I'll put it right in your hands I'll be 